with Charlotte Hawkins. Hello there, good morning. Six o'clock, we're with you all the way through till nine. Martin Lewis and Susanna will be here from half past six. First, I'll talk. take on Germany in the Euros this evening with a quarter-final place at stake. The winners are likely to become the favourites to go all the way to the final and lift the trophy, especially after world champions France were knocked out on penalties. Well, let's go to our chief correspondent. Oh, I'm sorry, we seem to be having some difficulty there with uh, Richard Gase. We'll try to go back to him later. I'm sure there was no... Uh, messing about with the connection from any other fans apart from those with Germany, but much more on the Euros to come. In the meantime, other news this morning and school children will no longer have to automatically isolate after contact with a positive Covid case when schools return in September in England. In a separate move, ministers are also considering a total ban on mobile, mobile phones in the classroom. Let's speak to Katie Rickett now, who's at Bristol, saw the effects that that would have on children. But, you know, this is going to make a big change, isn't it? Changing these self-isolation rules. It's what many people have been calling for for some time to prevent so many children being off. And some breaking news now. Mobile phone footage has been posted on social media showing Professor Chris Whitty, the chief medical officer for England, apparently being grabbed, shouted at and held in a headlock. The vaccines minister, Nadim Zahawi, has called the incident disgusting and has said that the thugs must be found and charged. Nick Professor Chris Whitty looks visibly uncomfortable with what's happening here. What more do we know about this footage and, and how this all happened? Now, government plans to remove the £20 a week uplift in universal credit in September will have a devastating effect on millions of people, according to a charity that helps those living in poverty. In a new poll, they found that the extra £20 a week is the difference between being able to manage without going to a food bank. 2.2 million working people rely on universal credit to top up their incomes. Gargi Patel has more details. The football now. England take on Germany in the Euros this evening. There's a quarter-final place at stake. We can go back to Richard. Morning, Richard. I don't know what happened there. Maybe someone tripped over one of the cables, but we've re-established the link. How are they feeling there this morning about the prospects? In the meantime, let's find out how England fans are gearing up to this. And we can go over to Jonathan Swain. He's at the Big Tree Pub in Sheffield. Good morning to you, Jonathan. So it's a bit more sedate there than we've just seen at the bar with the German supporters. How are they feeling? How are they going to be gearing up later today? I was saying yeah, that kickoffs at 5 p.m. I suspect there might be a few people finishing work early this evening to make the most of it. Let's find out what the weather's looking like, shall we? Alex is at. Well, good morning, Britain's here all the way through till nine. Martin Lewis will be here with Susanna from half past six. And today. Hello there, let's take a look at the front pages of today's newspaper of school and college leaders. 6.24 and Richard is here with today's entertainment news. It was a late night, the summer. It really Thanks was. Thanks very much for taking us through all of that. Susanna and Martin here in just a moment, but let's find out what's happening with the weather. Here's Alex. In other news this morning, school children will no longer have to automatically isolate after contact with the positive COVID case when schools return in September in England. And in a separate move, ministers are also considering a total ban on mobile phones in the classroom. So England take on Germany in the Euros this evening with a quarter-final place is the prize at stake. The winners are likely to become the favourites to go all the way to the final and lift the trophy after world champions France were knocked out on penalties.